session on app support for the SAP Fiori Launchpad. It is sometimes challenging to maintain and support apps in the SAP Fiori Launchpad when you are new to the SAP Fiori authorization concept. In terms of user authorization, configuration and customization can be time consuming. Luckily now the SAP Fiori Launchpad plugin app support can help you troubleshoot some of the most common problems that might occur for an app, most prominently authorization issues on the front end or back end server. This might prove useful during the initial implementation phase of an app. We will try to see how we can actually set up the app support and how it works in the real case scenario where an end user is assigned with the uh, certain apps and the app support plugin is enabled and how he can share the authorization logs with the Fiori security team when he gets an uh, issue related to app. In order to set up the app support, there are certain prerequisites. From the authorization perspective, the authorization object is s underscore FLP underscore AS, which has to be maintained in the general end user role or the, or the role which is going to be assigned to the business users. The authorization field is SUI underscore ADUS and the field values are current and all, which would try to restrict the logs for the current user or for all users which can admin can see. And there are a couple of services which needs to be activated. In we will try to check in the system once how we can activate this service and maintain the uh, gateway O data service in the system. We go to the SICF and look for the particular node which has to be activated in the system. As you can see uh, in the SAP help uh, document, it is already mentioned and you can refer to this guide in order to set up the app support plugin. We'll check the default host. As you can see in the system it is already active and hence we do not need to activate it. Similarly we'll look for the other node which has been mentioned in order to activate for the UI5. We have also activated this in order to use the app support plugin. And we will now check and see if the Odita service is active in the system. Odita service can be checked using the transaction code IWFND main underscore service. As you can see, there, uh, the Odita service is also active as well as the system alias has been maintained. Now we will try to maintain the authorization object. I have already maintained it and I will try to just show the authorization object and the values which are maintained for the end user role. As you can see the authorization object s underscore flp underscore as and the value which has been maintained is for current user only. So the users who are assigned with this role would be able to check the authorization logs and then they would have the authorization to share the logs with the security team as the activity which has been maintained are display and download. We will try to see an example where the users are getting an issue related to app and how they use the app support tool. We will check for the apps which are giving an error and see how the app support tool actually helps. Consider an example of manage outgoing checks app. As you can see that as soon as I try to access this app, it gives an error. And if you look for details, we would see that there is an error, no authorization access to the service ZFAP underscore outgoing check service. Users can directly take a screenshot of this and share with the security team or now when we are using the app support how it actually helps we'll try to close this and you can guide the user how to actually use the app support they can go to the user icon and click on app support 
once they click on app support you will have a detailed view of the app the type of app as well as the OData service and all the details and since we know it is a gateway error we'll just try to look for the gateway errors which are occurring similarly you can look for authorization error or runtime error in the system you can check for the end at the same time you can the user can actually download these logs and share it with the security team as, as we click to the gateway error we can see the errors which are occurring in the system and as you can see the first error is no authorization to check access the service zfap underscore outgoing check services you can request the user to sh download the log and share it with the security team so that they can troubleshoot the error with all the app details and then provide a resolution to it you can also filter for the other users if you have the value maintained as all if you are an admin and then you can check at, check and apply all filters as per your scenario thanks for watching this video and i hope app support tool help you to troubleshoot fury app authorization issues in a better way